out of all five senses, smell, taste, touch, hearing, and sight, which is most important to you? Now, it's one of those questions most of us would have a hard time answering until you lose one. Tonight, KSL's Mike Hedrick shares the story of an 18-year-old in Logan who's found a way to see the big picture in the middle of adversity. Good legs, legs. Two nights a week, four months out of the year, and drop. His old pool in Hiram, Utah. Okay, go. Is home to one of the best high school water polo teams in the state. Nice, get those elbows out. Come on, straight arms. The Cache Valley Kraken with an offense that is straight up fire. Oh. And a defense. That's good defense. That's good defense. Oh, maybe even better. See that guy there in the cage blocking all those shots? Good job, Benjamin. Well, that's Benjamin Lennick, six foot three and a wingspan nearly just as long. This kid is good, treading water almost half his life. Okay, five seconds, push it, get those hips up. But here's the thing about life. Whether it's in the pool or out of the water, in the middle of it all, there are simply some things you just never see coming. So I see a young man walking out with a cane. Was he just in my pool? Was he part of this practice? I just blurted out, I have a blind goalie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you back about 10 years ago to a moment now seared in the memory of Benjamin and his mother. When he was eight, we were walking home one night, and he could not, I was pointing out constellations to him, and he couldn't see the stars. Sometimes I would say, like, I, I, just, I can't see the stars, Mom. I've never seen the stars. Benjamin was losing his night vision, or at least that's what they thought. I'm look up high. But when they met with the eye doc a few years later, and over to the left, the diagnosis and down. dramatically changed. And the doctor at that point set us down and said, um, we're not going to do contacts today. In fact, your son's going blind. That's a difficult conversation to have. Dr. Kirk Winward is Benjamin's eye doctor. Look right here at my ear. Uh -huh. And in that conversation said the words. So Ben has a, an ocular condition called retinitis pigmentosa. When you first heard those words, what did you think? Um, what is this? <laughs> in short, retinitis pigmentosa causes cells in the eye to die and degenerate. The initial effect is tunnel vision. The long-term effect... Like, you're, you're looking through a telescope, almost, sometimes. Well, that tunnel gradually closes in. You and I have probably close to 180 degrees of visual field. And Ben is down to about 30. And if you're curious what that looks like in the everyday world, it's a lot like this. Walking the street, climbing the stairs, driving the... Wait a second, what? Got out of the car and whipped out his blind cane, and everybody's mouth just dropped. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't drive anymore, but here's the thing so difficult to understand. That's you, that's you. With his peripheral vision almost gone. 36. And balls flying at 40 miles an hour. How in the world does his kid stop something that all too often? And when they bring the ball up, that's a this very distinct noise. He cannot even see. I asked him one day, I said, how are you blocking those shots? I know some of them you can't see. And he says, well, I kind of just listen where the ball is. He describes that he can hear the ball leave the player's hand, and then he's able to just kind of track it, almost like an echolocation. Position myself in a way that either one arm, both my arms or my face gets it. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know how he does it, but he's definitely in the top tier goalies of the state. Now, that's Benjamin's oldest brother, Brian. Uh, without a doubt, I would say he's one of the best. And this is Jared. Is he better than you? <laughs> that's, let's move on for that one. <laughs> he's big brother number two. Both of them, former all-state goalies and coaching Benjamin since he was young. Hands on the wall. We're doing egg beater. And the fact he's just about legally blind. Okay, five seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Has never kept them from pushing his limits. Limits tested just a few weeks ago. Five shooters on each side. This is an exciting time. Let's get it. When a tied up game was forced into a one on one shootout. It'll be interesting to see what they do here. The announcer was talking about how 
during the shootout, he was listening to the other coach from the other team saying, hey, you need to, you need to shoot snake eyes on him. It's like, look one direction and shoot the other. He's saying pull the snake eyes on the fire. And I'm like, that's not going to work on Benjamin because <laughs> he doesn't know where you're looking. He can't see your eyes. Jordan Fitz to fire now against Benjamin Ladick. An entire game coming down to just five shots. And it's stopped. That right there. Which line wins the game? Yeah, that block was the game winner. And Benjamin's just like, nope, <laughs> not gonna happen. Benjamin Lanick, amazing job. Which line takes it, nine to eight. You know, you're always waiting for that next shoe to drop, right? What's the limits of his abilities? Or how fast is it progressing? He just seems to keep finding ways to cope with it. Tests have shown Benjamin is losing more than one degree of peripheral vision each and every year. He's now at 27 degrees, and while there is no cure, there are also no limits he is allowed to define him. He is a runner, he's a worker, he's a rower, he's a builder, he's the kind of kid who smiles even after the doctor slides a needle in his eye. In some ways, his, his growing blindness has also made him more independent. And he's the kind of kid who sees the world in a way many of us probably should. It makes me really proud, really proud of him. A proud father who on this night and at this pool right side, right side, right side. is watching with the rest of this hometown crowd as Benjamin protects goal Good play. one last time. No, they're not watching a charity case, and he's no novelty act. Good. I have full sight. I can't even block him. But with nearly 400 blocks in Benjamin's high school career, he's probably the best goalie I've seen in all my years playing water polo. Well, you may be looking at the best in the state. Good, two quarters. And the beauty of it all isn't necessarily the reaction. They're like, wait, what? <laughs> People on the other side are like, wait, what? <laughs> like, when opposing teams see that cane. Another team just is like, wait, he's blind, and we just got wrecked by him. It's the fact this 18-year-old forced to deal with something nobody ever saw coming. I've seen the things I want to see. I've seen with my family. I've seen my friends. Can somehow see far beyond. <laughs> what's in front of him. It can go any time. It can go next tomorrow, next year, uh, 50 years from now. I feel like I'm prepared for it to just go. Mike Hedrick reporting. The teams haven't been announced yet, but Benjamin's coach expects he will make All-State, and there's a chance, he says, Benjamin could be the MVP. Wow, an amazing mm -hmm.